Hello, lovely Gemini, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. Gemini, this is going to be an intuitive collective message for the collective for the last week in May. So moving into June. Let's just say whenever you see this message. But this is for the last week of May. As on the 30th, Mercury will conjunct Uranus and Taurus. So I'm looking forward to this reading as I am a fellow Gemini. It looks like May is ending off with a bang. Tomorrow, Mercury and Taurus will sextile Saturn and Pisces. So it's about the truth coming out here. Any areas where Pisces were hidden, hidden secrets, hidden thoughts, hidden relationships is about to be in a situation where it comes to light. So there's, there's definitely an energy playing out this end of this week where the truth can be harsh and it can be illuminating also. Let's see what's coming out for Gemini, okay? So some unexpected truths can be approaching, but let's also see from the romance advice. You got too many cards. Libra just had this reading in their cards. So you could be connecting with a Libra since I saw all of that Libra coming out in your, in your last reading. I'm gonna put them back in. It feels like if you're connecting with someone here, okay, a fellow air sign, you could definitely watch that reading. There's a reconciling, okay? It's also a lot of equilibrium is what I feel with all of that energy. But I'm going to shuffle again. This is for Gemini. Show me one card for romance oracles. Thank you. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. New love, new beginning. Wow. Sextiling Saturn. So you've passed the test here, Gemini. And now is like I feel new love is approaching you here. There's somebody new, Gemini, that you have romantic feelings for. This person shares the same amounts. They're very like, this is somebody who's looking up to you is what I feel. You know, there's Cupid's angels, arrows all around this connection. It feels very guided. It feels like, wow, Gemini, new love, the end of May. You are ending it off with a bang. There's a new beginning that's here in love in Gemini. This could be the one that you've been waiting for for a very long time. This could be the new beginning in your life, bringing in romance, bringing in love, bringing in a sense of, you know, charm. Like I feel it's a very charming new beginning for you, Gemini, in love. And it is ending off in a bang. It's like you have already met a romantic partner that you seek. There's someone right now in your life, Gemini, or there will be the end of this week here. You could meet this person in a library. You could meet this person in school. You could meet this person, like I feel, Gemini. I, I, I definitely see this person. Somebody here is like, on their bended knees to get your attention. And I feel you're walking away. I feel, Gemini, you are not even interested right now in relationships. You, For some of you, you don't see this coming. So it could be unexpected. It could be you going to the grocery store. It could be you going anywhere, Gemini, and unexpected. Somebody's trying to grab your attention. Like I even feel someone's about to get on their bended knees to ask for a date or ask for your attention, Gemini. This feels like the divine timing is at work in your love life. This is the card like I feel of Sagittarius. You have a soulmate, Gemini, that you have called in. This is worth the wait here. So this could be definitely your patience is paying off, Gemini. This is the worth the wait, like I feel. This is the, the one. This could be the one. I feel the new person is definitely angelically guided. This is divine intervention. So from, from anywhere out of the blue, the divine is going to have the two of you meeting up, Gemini, okay? And if you're in a connection already with somebody new that you have, this could be the one, Gemini. So I'm going to leave the reading right there. And now, oh, and look at this at the bottom. That's why it says you have already met the partner you seek. I feel, Gemini, this is a past life contract that's coming up. I feel you do have a past life with this person. For some of you, you could have been connecting with uh, Stone's Hedge. 
uh, in the United Kingdom, okay? Someone here has long, dark hair, right? And somebody here could have blonde hair. If it's a man, they could have long hair. I feel, Gemini, you've known this person before. Or you're going to feel like when you immediately meet this person, something about them is like you've known them before. Or do I know you, right? If you're going to be like, do I know you? Have I met you before? That kind of an energy here, right? But it does feel, Gemini, very profound. This is a, a week of profound encounters with the soulmate, Gemini, that you've been waiting for. I'm excited. Let's see what we have from the tarot. This is Captain Tarot. If you are interested, you can find this deck on Etsy. This is Tapped in Tarot. This is for Gemini for the last week of May. Wow, Gemini. Wow. A lot of faded events unfolding now that Jupiter has officially entered our sign. So there's a new passionate faded event that's here. I feel this new beginning in love is a turning point for you, Gemini. A huge turning point in your life. The last, last time Jupiter was here was the year 2012. Okay, so there's a huge turning point when it comes to relationships. Show me Gemini. Seven of Pentacles. Look what you've been waiting for. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Four of Cups in the past. Page of Pentacles. There's that new opportunity. In the challenge position is the Fool. Yeah, like I feel you're not ready to take a leap of faith. You're feeling like you're not ready, but Uranus is surprised, right? Three of Wands. What you've been waiting for. Your ship's coming in. These two cards came out together. And I was wondering all this time why I didn't see that Queen of Pentacles. Like you weren't seen in the public. Like you weren't really open for dating. I feel, Gemini, you've been working real hard. Like I work hard for the money, right? You're Queen of Pentacles. You're very mature. You're a businesswoman or a businessman. Like I feel, Gemini, you're very successful and you're very down to earth. You've been waiting. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So guess who's coming your way, Gemini? And here they come, Ten of Swords. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel that the person, how they feel, is they're ending something here. I also feel, Gemini, the person that you could be connecting to is cutting several ties right now. This is somebody here you've had a painful ending with. Okay, Gemini? It also feels like whatever this is, this person, like I felt, it's like you severed ties with someone here. You've been healing, Gemini. The Four of Wands is here for you. This is the new door that opens. I felt that, that there's definitely a door that's closing and a new door that's opening for you, the Four of Wands. It's like, Gemini, there could be a chance for you getting ready to take a leap of faith. It could be a new move. It could be relocating. It could be a celebration. But I feel the door to romance has been closed and it's about to be opened. I feel whatever you've been doing with the Seven of Pentacles, you've been persevering, okay? You had to go through some t difficulties, Gemini. And I feel your hard work is paying off. Uh, it could be like, yeah, you're like delayed when it came to relationships. I feel not anymore. I feel in the past here, there was somebody ignoring you. It was like if you were sending a text or waiting for a phone call back, they had you constantly waiting, playing the waiting game. This was like a feeling here where this person wanted you to chase them and you didn't chase this person. Uh, I feel in the past four of cups, you had a lot of regret when it came to a relationship with someone here. You were very unhappy because of this. It left you in a place of unhappiness, uh, a feeling here of stagnancy, very bored also. And it feels like you just gave up for the time, but the time is paying off now with Jupiter. There's Page of Pentacles. There could be a grounded young person. This person can be younger than you. There's a solid beginning. This is someone that has a lot of potential with the Page of Pentacles. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. It also feels like with the challenge with the fool, you're not willing to take a risk, Gemini, okay? The Uranus energy here is, is telling me here, 
There's a need to break free. There's a need to break free. This new beginning is asking you to get ready to take a chance when it comes to this person, okay? There's something here about the three of wands. I feel that you have your ships coming true. I felt you've been patiently waiting, Spirit says, and this could be the one. This person, like I feel at your meeting, sees you as somebody who is a very hard worker, very down to earth, very fit spiritually. Like with the temperance, like I feel for a lot of you, you could be working out, you could be taking care of your health, your fitness. For a lot of you, you are, you are a healer. You could be a healer, a spiritual healer, moving into something that you work on when it has to do with spiritual healings, whether it's a reader, a Reiki healer, a music healer, a light worker. You're very practical and there's a lot of great success that you've also been waiting for. There's a glow up in your finances that's coming in, Queen of Pentacles, temperance energy. I feel this is divine timing, Gemini. I feel this relationship that's here, that's coming in, I feel with you, is the one that is worth your time. I feel that you're, you're very calm, the sense of serenity with the Sagittarius is a fire sign. So this is your opposite and the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded. It's very secure what you're in right now. And it feels like feeling secure, feeling calm, very content. It's like proceed with moderation. Proceed with moderation is what I'm feeling from this. With the full, there's a feeling here of, for some of you, this new beginning is going to require you, Gemini, to take a leap of faith is what I'm feeling with the Four of Wands also. I feel your person that you are, I feel this is a past person betrayal, Ten of Swords, and the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, okay? The bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups, there is wish fulfillment and Page of Swords. You definitely have somebody that's spying on you. You have someone where there's no communication, but they're definitely got an eye on you. The Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, Gemini, when it comes to some celebration. It's like happy home, happy family. It also could be a family reunion, Nine of Cups. There's a lot to attain, like I feel, in this home, in this foundation. There's a lot of, of energy of prosperity coming to you now. If you work from home and have a home business, there's a sense of confidence. And now with the Page of Swords, somebody here is very uh, clever, very clever, very curious about you, Gemini. And I felt with the lovers, you do have a choice. You have old and new, okay? It's like one door's closing and another one is opening. There's someone here that you're not gonna take a risk with, Gemini. The lovers. I feel like you're making a head over heart decision. I also feel like you want something stable. You're thinking very practical. You're wanting something that's very stable. Somebody that you're waiting for like in relationships that doesn't take your peace away from you. Okay. The lovers is your card. So there is a strong soulmate that's coming towards you, Gemini. Okay. This is somebody who I feel like this card keeps coming up and the saying came to me. It's like, whatever the past was, it wasn't no walk in the park. It was no picnic, okay? It was very disappointment, disappointing. There was difficulties, challenges, and betrayal in the past here, Gemini, where you felt backstabbed. I feel this new connection is a choice to make here, Gemini. I feel that for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, it could be that you love to get outside, Gemini, this person that you'll be connecting to. I feel the both of you, it's like wine, uh, grapes, it's like roses, outdoors, rooftops, uh, a lot of music. Like I feel you love somebody who plays the guitar. This person plays the guitar, they love to sing. This person's very talented, but it's just like about being in love with love. This person's in love with love and so are you. It feels like you do have a strong bond and there is a choice now, Gemini, that's coming in. And I feel this energy is gonna play out. <coughs> I apologize. 
My allergies were acting up. This is for Gemini. Let's get the epiphany. Gemini Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You're severing ties. I fell with the paths, Gemini. I wonder, is a choice between two? I feel you're making a very practical decision. You're doing what's best for your highest purpose and your good. If it doesn't match the frequency of the amount of work you put into your business, you're not going for it. That's what it feels like. Okay, let's see. Road to recovery. Libra just had this card. Okay, there is a road to recovery here. There is a processing when it comes to Pluto. It retrograde, Pluto went retrograde on May 2nd to October 11th. There's reflection, learning lessons, the dawn of a new age. You're entering into a greater time. This, this road to recovery is adjusting, unwinding, spiritual baths, and just breathe. You're on the road to recovery from a betrayal here, from feeling backstabbed, from feeling like you've hit a situation of rock bottom, feeling foolish in a connection. Show me more of Gemini. You have somebody here that you could be connecting and you could switch to roads, this person, roads. Somebody was on a different path than you and it ended in a betrayal. And now you're recovering, but this person's also on the road to recovery. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Ready to take control and lead? Are you ready, Gemini? Boots on the ground, this person's serious. They have boots on the ground. You're dealing with an emperor figure, a masculine energy, ready to take control, ready, ready to lead. You have a strong masculine energy that's coming towards you. This person is concrete, I'm hearing. This is an authoritative figure. This person knows how to take control. They know how to lead. So this is a leader, somebody that wants something solid, stable with you. This person's ready to lay the concrete, I'm hearing. Reminiscing on the past moments. You have somebody here from the past that's reminiscing, thinking about the good old times with you, Gemini. And true love stories never dies never ends so there's like a never ending love story here okay past life they'll love you in that lifetime you'll love them in that life at time to this lifetime there is a lifetime after lifetime love i'm hearing this is like the six of cups another one reconciling rekindling someone from your past returning somebody and somebody letting you know their true their true feelings Somebody opening up, giving you the truth, how they feel about you. You're going to have your choice, Gemini, a choice between two. Some of you, this was somebody you've been dreaming of, or you're, this was somebody that I feel you've been hoping. It's like dreams do come true, Gemini. There has been a love block. Are you ready to release this block? So this is somebody that you've been connecting to, Gemini, that was blocked, okay? Definitely a feeling of heartache, pain, but now is the time to release, right? Release heartbreak and be open and optimistic for forgiveness. Like I feel, Gemini, you weren't a doormat for this person. Yeah. And that's why I feel you've, you've bossed up. You toughened up. You bossed up. Now, like I feel, you're patient when it comes to love. You're in harmony and peace when it comes to the way that you are when it comes to healing, nurturing. You're healing, you're recovering. So you're ready to release this block. Yeah, there was a block here when it came to love. And hidden desires and hidden intentions will be coming out. Someone here is about to uh, unveil the truth, how they feel, true emotions coming out. That Sagittarius full moon that played out our opposites, it's like the truth is a harsh truth, but it can be illuminating. The Sagittarius full moon is illuminating a lot of areas when it came to blocks and love or relationship blocks, Gemini, is what I feel. Yeah, you have a strong soulmate connection here. A kindred spirit, a very strong bond that's coming towards you here. But you definitely have a choice, Gemini, okay? Someone you've been waiting, this could be the one. Deference, 
temperance, two cards of, of waiting and the, and your ship's coming in. Like the wait is over. That's what I feel. This was worth waiting. Divine timing was blocking this connection from the past that needed to heal. For some reason, like I felt the divine stepped in when it came to this person in the past, okay? For you to sever ties with this person. You went through a painful ending here, Gemini. Ten of Swords with this person. Could have air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And now that block is breaking. So love is opening. The gates of love is opening. That Four of Wands is like the gates. It's like a celebration. Four of Wands that's coming toward you. And it leads to abundance in all areas of your life. Especially Gemini rising. You have love coming in when, and when it comes to abundance and love. Abundance in business. These are going to be areas, Gemini, all over the map for you. A lot of success, a lot of wish fulfillment. Dreams do come true. Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, something you've been dreaming of, Gemini, is coming in. Okay? So I'm going to leave the reading there. Thanks, loves. I will be back for the June horoscope. Sending you all tons of love and blessings. We'll see you soon, Gemini.